Hey, beautiful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this, whenever you're watching this. Um, I just wanted to... Well, this question has been weighing heavily in my heart of, you know, if you're dealing with chronic illness and you're healing it through a mind-body approach and it's been like years, like me, been on this journey for a few years now. And I just am wondering... I wanted, I wanted your guys' thoughts, I guess. Like, if you could comment below. Do you think that your illness is trying to help you create the life that you actually want, that you didn't know that you wanted? Because I think that's where I'm at in my journey right now. I have spent the last few years, as some of you who have been following me that you know, I've been doing deep dives using very interesting modalities into the subconscious brain for years now like trying to get down to you know heal these traumas hear these uh, heal these limiting core beliefs that i've had and i think at this point honestly i feel like if you're not deliberately doing this work i feel like everyone has <laughs> i feel like everyone has limiting core beliefs that uh, and we all have the same limiting core beliefs and unless you're actively and intentionally trying to change them and you become aware of them I think um, I, I just think people just live in these in these patterns forever and I honestly feel like because I thought I had I had a, a call with a mentor recently and I was like I feel like I have all the limiting core beliefs everything you know like I'm not enough I'm bad I'm there's something wrong with me all, all of it and she goes oh you too you know and it just dawned on me that I was searching spending so much time and energy and money which I don't regret it at all but I was spending all of this time like trying to get to the resolution of my issues like why is my body screaming it's even now it's not screaming but it's not comfortable like it's still it still doesn't feel quite safe right and it just dawned on me that unless you're doing this work intentionally everyone probably has the same limiting core beliefs and all of them <laughs> and our whole the whole process of being a human and having the human human experience and living our lives is to revise those limiting core beliefs into one of wholeness and love and expansion and peace and joy and goodness kindness all of the stuff that we actually want because that's what we actually are innately like we're not bad we're not broken we're not we just forgot the wholeness that we are you know so yeah just thinking about that this morning and um oh by the way we are here in i'm coming to you in montclair which is a really nice part of oakland california my sister and my brother-in-law are they got an airbnb this weekend so we just came to check it out so you guys gotta check out this view like it's pretty awesome look at it oh blurry but you can see san francisco in the distance there i hope <laughs> It's just a really nice spot. Look at that. Amazing. Feels so good to be here. But yeah, just like my initial question is, do you think that your illness is trying to help you create the life that you want? And this is something that, oh, it's kind of blurry. I don't know what's going on with my camera. You guys can hear me, right? Okay. Hopefully it clears up. But I was talking to a, I was texting a friend one of my best friends she uh, lives in Hawaii um, that's where I'm originally from and we still kind of catch up with each other every once in a while I know we're so busy and she's going through her own like I've been going through a chronic illness journey and she's been going through her own her own similar type of journey and she sent me that Paul Rudd meme the other day you know that was like look at us who would thought who would thought we would be here we would be here and um, I share that because her and I, like the group of friends that I hung out with, we were like uh, super overachievers, like basically our whole lives, right? Because we were chasing that American dream that a lot of 
um, immigrants have and my I am me and my friends we were the first generation children of immigrants so of course that's that was their dream their dream was to get a stable nine-to-five job because they're coming from other countries that you know was not stable so I totally get that so that was the American dream right nine-to-five job um, a family yeah get married have a family have kids um, build your wealth and buy a house you know that that was the dream and so like if you like I'm always uh, I know people are asking me like where's my socials I don't have an Instagram I actually highly recommend that everyone delete their Instagram I just don't think there's much good in, in that app but I do use Twitter and X every day I'm always posting on there so because uh, I just feel like you find really really smart people on there I've made really amazing connections on that app and you have to, but you have to be wise about how you use it and so I posted on there in my story like that is what went before I came down with chronic illness that's what I achieved it was the American dream like I got a great job I graduated college I you know got my degrees I, mar I married a wonderful person had wonderful children bought a house before I was 30 you know uh, and then shortly thereafter my health crashed completely and then following that major marriage issues major financial issues like everything just crashed dark night of the soul and so um, this whole journey has made me realize you hear my kids screaming I know I apologize they're screaming somebody's upset <laughs> as we all are sometimes so I understand but um, I share this because as I've been very introspective I'm like wow I thought that's the life that I wanted and I think my body and my brain was sharing with me hi Colton hello <laughs> I think uh, viewers I think that um, my brain and my body have been lovingly showing me that that's not the life you wanted. And um, I, I see, but that's a that's a dual part because it was also I feel like I spent the good half of the last couple of years did you do the clearing. The house? No, not yet. Oh. Um, I feel like I spent the last good couple of years kind of clearing resentment and bitterness that I had towards my parents like with my past um, and so that has been wonderful but now I do feel like there's a big call my body is is still speaking up and I think it's I really believe because I'm like I think in, I can think of my parents and I, I have nothing but love for them you know and now I kind of feel like anytime anger or bitterness or resentment comes up which it it has been coming up quite a lot recently and I feel like it's because that anger is is trying to you know and symptoms have been trying to prod like we need you to live a life that you want and that you like live your life for you now what do you really want and so I take those messages with so much grace and humility and um, yeah I don't know can you guys relate please share if you guys resonate with this because especially for those of you who've been on this journey for a long time and you're just kind of at this point where you're like oh, okay it's rebuilding now I have to create the life that I want and um, and it's kind of exciting it's terrifying but now the question that I ask myself every single day is what do I want I'm understanding that you have to get like super 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 clear on what you want because you create your life life doesn't happen to you you're literally creating every single thing so um, that's kind of what I've been working on is just like I've been saying no to things that feel like shoulds and that has been eye-opening because I'm realizing that there's so much of my life that has felt like shoulds and I had no idea no idea and um, I feel like just even with this approach you open yourself up to more play you know being more spontaneous being more adventurous just willing to to dive right in jump in and ex um, 
and just do things that sound exciting and terrifying but you do it anyway but, and, and it's not things that you would usually do or maybe it's things that you did you would you love doing before um, and you just forgot that you loved like I totally forgot that I loved going on just like this like spontaneous trips like little day trips um, we, I used to do that all the time me and my husband for, before we had kids and then we just got so caught up in what we thought our lives should look like or I shouldn't speak for him but for me I got so caught up in what I should be doing my responsibilities what should be right what should be right and I've completely neglected myself I've completely neglected what I want right like I know when you're going through this journey and like someone asks you hey what do you want like what do you even want so many people don't have an answer to that I'm finding because I've been asking myself that question. I've been asking other people that question if they come to me with issues. People don't know what they want. It's alarming. It's alarming. Because we have been so conditioned to think that we want a certain thing. And I really believe that like the nine to five, the American dream, I'm just gonna label it that way. Yeah, the American dream, like, I, I really thought that's what I wanted. But my body is wiser, my brain is wiser, it knew otherwise. I needed, I needed a, a, a lot of change and a lot of healing. So I guess my follow-up question for you, if you can so kindly comment below as, so we can all walk together through this journey, but it's, do you, do you think that you have to make, you do, do you think that you get to a point in a journey like this where you have to make substantial changes in order for your your brain and body to feel safe again or can you go back do you think that it's possible to go back to the exact same life that you were living that was causing illness that's something i'm grappling with a lot um because i'm like well if that life contributed to me being ill can I show up in that same life as a healthy person that you know like these are these are questions that I ponder a lot I think I just want to start a discussion because these are these are legitimate questions that I'm wondering about and obviously you know if you're if you're married and you have a family and you have responsibilities like how does that come into play because of course you you I would I know some people that have they were like by you know they totally abandoned their family um, and I think I, I've had people ask me that like so what do you do do you abandon your family and I'm like no I think you make a decision right as a full as a full-fledged adult um, you know like what do I want do I want my family in the picture in my life yes if, so if that's your answer, you're going to, as a creator of your life who has full autonomy and agency, you're going to figure out in a creative way how you can continue to make that happen without abandoning yourself. So these are, you know, pretty deep things to think about and discuss. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on these these things. Just, just where where are you at? <laughs> if you're on a if you're on a recovery journey like this, like where are you at? Because I would love to know as well. Um, and yeah, so I'll just leave it at that. I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, if you saw my other video, um, I am starting a self care kit, and I have a first product on there. It's the Le Prunier. I don't know, somebody's screaming. It's probably my kid. I probably need to go in and deal with that. <laughs> but it's Le Prunier, and there's a discount code for you if you choose to try it out. Give yourself some lux uh, luxurious feelings and make your skin feel good and, and feel good emotionally, physically, mentally. So we'll leave it at that. Take care.